Looking down on the body of the G95, the dial in the top left sets the rate at which photographs can be taken, single, continuous, or time release. The mode dial on the right hand side of the camera is used to select whether you're doing video or various photography settings. The rear right dial can control three different functions, shutter speed, aperture, white balance, and ISO, depending on which is selected. The button in the middle of that dial is a quick way to access the white balance or the ISO. Generally, the front dial controls aperture. It will also control white balance or ISO when selected. The button in the front right is the shutter release or begins a video depending on the mode of the camera. The small red button will begin a video when the camera is set in a photo mode. The FN3 button on the top left of the back of the camera changes the monitor mode. It cycles between three choices. Viewfinder, monitor, viewfinder and monitor combined. In the last mode the monitor will be on but as soon as you put your eye to the eyepiece or something blocks the eyepiece the monitor turns off. The battery takes about 175 minutes to charge and will give you about an hour and a half of recording time. Open the battery door on the bottom of the camera. Note the connection on the battery and in the compartment. Do not force the battery. If it is lined up correctly, it will easily click in place. The SD card slot is located on the right side of the camera. Orient the card like this. Do not force it in. It will go in easily if the orientation is correct. To install a lens, match the red dot on the lens with the red dot on the camera body. A half turn clockwise will seat the lens to the body. To remove the lens, press this button and turn counterclockwise. The monitor is fully articulated, allowing it to move in several positions. Turn the camera on with this switch. Always be sure that the date and time are correctly set. Press the menu set button. Touch the fourth menu down, a single wrench. Select the first of four sub-menus on the right side of the screen. Set the clock. Simply touch the screen and use the arrows on the right side to set the date and time. Formatting the SD card is found in the wrench menu. Select the fourth sub-menu. Select format and answer the prompts. This will erase the SD card. To shoot in video mode, move the control dial to the icon of the video camera M for manual. Use the main shutter release to begin videotaping in this mode. The icon appears in the upper left part of the monitor. Touch it to reveal four choices, program, aperture, shutter priority, or full manual. I encourage you to use full manual operation. If you wish to shoot video in an auto mode, choose the intelligent auto. You will need to use the small red button to start shooting in this mode. The front dial primarily controls aperture. The f-stop can be seen in the bottom center of the monitor. The rear dial adjusts the shutter speed, also on the bottom left of the screen. Here are some important settings in the menus. Press the menu button. Touch the second icon of a video camera. Select the first of four sub-menus on the right side. Choose MP4 for the recording format. Recording quality is right below the format. Choose a mode to shoot in and stick with it for consistency when editing. In the second sub-menu, adjust the stabilizer. If you're working on a tripod, turn this off. If you're holding the camera, turn on image stabilization. The 5-axis hybrid image stabilizer incorporates electronic stabilization and will smooth out the video. In the third sub-menu, set the wind noise canceller. Turn it off if you're working inside. The third menu choice is a wrench with the letter C. And it has seven submenus. In the fifth submenu, I recommend turning on peaking, guidelines, and zebra patterns. I am conservative, setting the zebra pattern at 75 IRE. You may go as high as 100. Set the ISO by pressing the ISO button on the top of the camera and adjusting with the rear dial or by touching the monitor. The higher the number, the brighter the image. There are many choices for white balancing. Choose the white balance button on top of the camera. I recommend using the custom white balance. Press select white, 
Fill the square with something white and press set. A dialog box will confirm if the white balance is unsuccessful or complete. If you are rushed, the automatic white balance is a reasonable option. The button to the right of the viewfinder is to select focus. AFS is autofocus single used in photography. AFF is autofocus flexible used when you're in video mode. AFC is autofocus continuous if your subject is moving. And MF is manual focus. You can adjust focus by manipulating the focus ring on the lens or tap the screen twice to zoom in to your subject, then select the AF box on the screen. The peaking outline will show the edges of your subject in focus. While shooting, touch the screen and drag over part of the scene you wish to focus on. This is very responsive and much quicker than using the lens ring.